Welcome to Chemistry Lover. I am making video after a very long time. I apologize for that. Uh, so in this video, I will be talking about a question which is from the recently uh, over CSR NET exam that is the NET exam December 2019 and the question actually I will not discuss the whole question because the first step of the question is very simple it is the methylation of a nitrogen site which will give this one so i just forget the question number uh, you can recognize easily if you are the aspirant so this will form first and the next step is the two three uh, sigma tropic rearrangement with heat to give this either this product or this product so actually both of these options were there and the main confusion about this question is the major uh, stereochemical outcome that is uh, between these two stereochemistry which will be the major product in one case this ester group and this methyl group they are uh, anti to one another and in other case they are seen to one another so you have to tell whether they will be anti or seen so which is the major product now in the question uh, the double bond which was given it was a trans double bond so automatically another question you may ask that uh, if the outcome will be same for a cis double bond or it will differ right so i will answer all these questions but let me first tell you the answer that in this case it will be the anti product which will be the ma major product so this product one or this first product will be the major product so the shortcut is irrespective of the stereochemistry of the starting material always you will get the anti product right so whether uh, there is a methyl group or any other large group so what you have to remember is that if there is two groups in this case there is one hydrogen another one is methyl but if two distinguishable groups are there and one is large group and another one is a small group for example here the large group is methyl and a small group is hydrogen so always the large group and this a star they will be anti to one another and this is true both for trans and for cis so you will never get this seen product you will always get get the anti product right so this is the shortcut now uh, let me discuss about the mechanism or uh, why you will get the anti product rather than the cis product right uh, or the sin product so for that we have to look into the transition transition state of the reaction right so uh, to do that we have to first rewrite this uh, starting material in a different way so how we can write down so we can write down like this so the same thing I am writing but in a different way like this and here it is so it is a trans double bond that's why I am writing like this and these two groups one is benzyl one is methyl but that doesn't matter so that's why I put just R okay and here you have a plus so this is the same thing I have written down like this now this negative charge will go here this double bond will go here and this bond will break so we can uh, represent the transition state like this right so here you have r groups and here this a star group here you have this methyl group so this is the transition state of the reaction now in this case there is uh, no manifestation of the stereochemistry so that's why we have to represent this same structure in a 3d form so how we can do that so the simple way is you can you first uh, write down this dotted bond okay so this dotted bond i can write down like this okay now one you make this bond above this and another this nitrogen group this right so now you connect it like this okay and now put other groups so i put the methyl group in the right hand side and the hydrogen in the left hand side so here you have one hydrogen and one methyl group so i put the methyl group in the right hand side and hydrogen in the left hand side and now there is two possibilities of putting this ester group so 
uh, either you can put the star group this side and hydrogen this side this is one case another case would be another case would be you can put so the methyl group is in the same right hand side but now you can put this ester group this side and hydrogen this side so this is another possibility right so this is one transition state and this is the other transition state now look into the difference of these two transition states right so in this case you can see this methyl group and this ester group they will sterically encounter one another but here you can see they are far apart from one another they are at far position from one another so there is no steric hindrance but here you have a steric hindrance and if you look this transition state in the in the uh, newman projection formula it will be more clear to you so the newman projection formula will be like this okay so now i put these groups like so uh, here i put the methyl group here i put the hydrogen and actually this is the two groups of the nitrogen okay so this is one benzyl group and one methyl group like this and on the back carbon you have this so in this case you have the co2 me and hydrogen like this the newman projection formula of the other transition state will look like this okay so here you have the methyl group you have the hydrogen and this side you have the ester and here you have the hydrogen on the other hand here you have the benzyl group here you have the methyl group so this is the thing now if you consider the two transition states here you can see these and these they are far apart from one another but here you can see these two will sterically encounter so that's why this particular arrangement is preferred that is this one and this particular arrangement you can see in this particular case this methyl and this uh, ester they are anti to one another so in the product also they will be anti to one another so this will be the major product so why uh, this will be the major product for this first case we can see from this transition state now we can do the same for our uh, cis isomer that is the cis double bond so only what we have to do is we have to make this methyl group this side so we can do it very easily we can just put the methyl group here and the hydrogen here now if we do that you can see we have to put the hydrogen here and the methyl group here we have to put the hydrogen here and the methyl group here and now you can see what happens is now these two groups are on the same side so they will sterically hinder and this particular uh, transition state will be preferred so i just erase this thing you can draw it so now you can see now this will be preferred and this will not be preferred but still one thing you should notice that this methyl and this co2me they are anti to one another so I changed the position of the methyl group because it is now cis but that doesn't matter now the different uh, transition state is preferred and in this case also the methyl and the CO2ME they will be trans to another so only difference is that for the trans case the product will look like this so you have this and here you have this N methyl benzyl so now this will go above methyl will go above and this will go down right so the absolute stereochemistry of these two centers will change so one case this will be r this will be so other case it will be s so the absolute stereochemistry is changed but the groups are still anti so in this case also they are anti in this case also they are anti so what you have to remember is that 
irrespective of the stereochemistry of the starting material whether this double bond is trans or cis it doesn't matter you will always get the product where the large group and the ester group they will be anti to one another so this is the gist of this video right so i hope that you understood the concept behind this question and all of your doubts are cleared so thank you for watching and let me know in the comment section that whatever marks you are getting uh, from this net exam so that's all thank you for watching